Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Eric. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing a review on the uh, the Autobot playset arc for the Dark of the Moon. And as we can see right now, we have um, the Decepticons trying to attack the arc. And we have a couple of Autobots stationed in the arc. We have Roller, Prime, Wheelie, and Ironhide is obviously hurt. So let me move. Um, some of these bad guys out of the way and bring it in just a little bit closer and Prime fell and uh, here is the Ark pretty cool little playset um, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be uh, and some, some features of it include uh, this and Prime is just going to keep on falling but uh, if you push this button it has a little ramp, and we'll see the roller just roll clean on out of there. Uh, it also has some mech tech ports, so I have a mech tech gun up here. Uh, this is electronics. If you push that, electronic sounds will uh, fire up. Those two guns light up, and this does, it, it rotates. It's a little, you know, it's not that easy to rotate it, but it'll rotate. Um, looking over here. This is another mech tech port, but uh, it doesn't hold the gun very sturdy, and uh, maybe that's just so it could, the guns can spin around. I don't know. These are laser beaks weapons, by the way. Um, you have Ironhide laying on this, uh, I'm guessing that's a medical bed, and this little arm will repair him, I guess. And uh, this arm doesn't come attached to this medical bed when you first get it, so you kind of got to put it on it yourself. And I'll go ahead and put Ironhide back up there. Let's go back around here. And this is where Prime was standing. And, yep, I have uh, another mech tech weapon right here. This is uh, crankcases. So there's another mech tech port right there. I'm assuming that uh, this, this little piece right here, they say that's like a landing bay or something like that. I don't know if this is supposed to... Um, be the space bridge because it, it kind of resembles the space bridge uh, from the movie previews but you know that's there I guess they kind of teleport back and forth from earth uh, through that um, up there we have another command bay and, and you can put a transformer up there and he'll shoot from those I don't know, something like that and last but not least up here well over here we have the jail and uh, we see we have uh, Blackout in jail. And yes, that's Blackout. I got that. This is from the first movie. It's a redeco Desert Blackout. So he's in jail. Uh, it works really well with the um, with the Legends class figures. And even even though Cyberverse Commanders are um, bigger, they're not necessarily going to roll off the uh, rolling bay. But you know they work. Uh, they're a little a little tall, which is I guess it's okay if you use the um, mech tech ports but they do seem a little a little big to be on this uh on this playset but you know it's not too bad uh i'm gonna quickly quickly show um what it would look like if you had classics figures and then we have some uh some classic figures uh the Le classics legends figures up there we got beachcomber and bumblebee and it uh it works even uh for the classics figures and of course they're gonna fall but uh, it works it doesn't work as well as it does with the uh, movie verse figures but all the features are still there Bumblebee will roll off and so the mech tech ports we got somebody hurt on the medical bay and there is Warpath chilling up at the top and we do have somebody in jail if you can kind of see him she's in jail and he flipped clean off because he's gonna fight some Decepticons so uh, yeah, it, it works well for the classics, not as good as the movie verse. And I'm just going to quickly, quickly, one more time, show what the playset looks like with maybe some other different uh, Transformers lines. Yeah, so last we have uh, just a, a couple of other uh, smaller Transformer toy lines. We have the uh, R.I.D. Spy Changer, uh, another R.I.D. Spy Changer, G2, Beachcomber, and Armada Minicon, 
power card combiner mini con and even animated star scream and just some random uh classics little uh, mini con and you know it, it works it works even for a world's smallest transformer um might not work that great for him i think this is just one of the taller molds but uh it could work you know use your imagination it could work so it works pretty much for any smaller transformers toy lines and uh just one more feature that i forgot to talk about um the missile does fire off this cannon there's a little clear missile uh, that's right there and doesn't fire on this cannon this is basically for storage it just stores another missile i don't know why this one doesn't fire and that one does but you know whatever i don't use the missiles anyway so that's about it for uh, how it works with displaying other toy lines and i'm gonna get these guys out of the way and uh, start to transform this baby which is not really uh, it's not really that hard to transform it shouldn't take too long and then right now i have small transformers all over the place so let me just get these guys out. And you can come out of jail. Clear out these mech tech parts and see, yep, it fires. Just fired just now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in. Alright, and transformation for this uh, place that isn't really hard at all. Basically, oops. Fold this back down, and it all kind of oh, gotta get this in. It all kind of collapses in on itself. You just kind of push it and get it nice and neat in there, and that's really about it. So let me uh, clear off this table real quick because I have stuff all over the place. So give me a second. So here's the Arca uh, back in vehicle mode, and it's a. Uh, very very nice spaceship um looks it, it, I, ha I haven't seen the movie yet but you know just from what i've seen it looks very very movie accurate lots and lots of detail lots and lots of silver paint and gold paint and again it still has those missiles and it does have electronics i just have not put the electronics in this figure because i don't really like putting electronics and uh, batteries in, in these figures because eventually they'll leak and I don't really play with them you know it's kind of more uh, I just set them up and display them so electronics really don't mean much of anything to me uh, these uh, uh, back here are uh, little portable guns I'm guessing you can also have them like that to where it looks like they're little tail fins or something I, I, I you know I really don't know exactly what they're supposed to be but you know save space you can have them up there like that this spaceship also has mech tech ports. From what I can see, it has some on the wings right there. Bam, 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 and again on the wing. And those are the only mech tech ports I found. I actually like to have um, laser beast weapons right up top here. And it makes it, you know, look a little bit more offensive. And the color blend, the colors blend. You know, these guns look pretty good on him, so. Well, not on him, but on the actual figure. So, you know, I like to keep it that way. Also, the cockpit opens and closes, and you can fit a little figure in there. And, and uh, again, speaking of little figures, he, of course, comes with Roller. And Roller is a really, really, you know, cool little figure. Uh, about Legends size. About Legends class size. Um, and one cool thing about Roller is that uh, he actually has, in this little hand-type deal... You can fit the Legends class guns and Cyberverse Commander guns in there. I uh, wish I had one. I put them, I put the uh, the figures up, so I don't actually have one. But take my word for it, it works. Uh, and just like his name says, he rolls quite well. And uh, he's a little moon space type thingy. Lots and lots of articulation in this arm. Uh, this goes up and down, left and right. This turns, and this even goes up well down and up to a certain amount and uh you know a lot, a lot of articulation in this little arm to transform him you unpeg his legs bring him back up there unpeg that leg and bring this around and uh get his legs straightened so there's his legs this arm comes up like that you want to let's see if i remember 
Oh yeah, that comes down like that. Right, okay. There we go. Alright. And this folds up. And that's pretty much him. He keeps the articulation from the, um, that he had in space probe mode uh, in this arm. And, and you can notice that this arm doesn't actually connect to the body, but it's okay. It kind of blends in. All this arm does is, you know, go up and down. And um, this arm can't hold anything, but this arm can. And it's nice that he keeps the, um, the, uh, Posability in this arm too. Not as much, but he, he keeps up most of it. And let me get a quick look at his head. If the camera will cooperate. Let me get my thumb out of the way. There we go. So pretty decent little head. Kind of kind of resembles Prime a little bit, but you know this isn't exactly Prime's roller. And it, it would probably, as far as scale goes, fit with the uh, Voyager Prime because. Here he is with the Cyberverse Prime, and I don't remember Roller being quite that big, but you know, I also don't remember Roller being able to transform, so I guess that's a, another issue altogether. So, let me bring this back up here, and just to show you that a figure can fit in here, we'll go ahead and sit Roller down, and there you go. So, that this is uh, the, the playset arc. I uh, really like it. It's a pretty good playset. I really do like this vehicle mode though, and I'll probably just end up keeping vehicle mode just because space is an issue for me. Uh, space isn't an issue for you. This is a good way to display your Dark of the Moon or even classics uh, Legends figures. I, I did hear a rumor about a gold repaint sometime in the future, so if you want to hold off and wait and get this guy possibly then, you know, it'll probably be a better way to display the classics figures. But for right now, I like the movie accuracy. I'm not really worried about a gold paint job. And it just looks good for what it is. But the uh, spaceship mode is excellent. So I do recommend it. Found it in Toys R Us a day ago, like, you know, yesterday. And it was 30 bucks. So I do think it's worth $30. And that's about it for this review. I'm going to wrap it up. And I highly recommend it, especially if you're looking for a new way to display your Legends class figures. Peace.